Well, good morning, people. Seeing how I'm in Banos de Agua Santos, Ecuador, I am going to the hot springs to start my day. Come along if you please. I'll probably post some more videos later. So here's the wonderful hot springs. And you can hear the waterfall. You can kind of see it a little bit in this video. It's lit up higher on the mountain. Anyway, the entry fee is $3, unless it's gone up, which I kind of seriously doubt. I already have my bathing cap, so I don't have to pay an additional dollar to buy one. <laughs> so, I was actually wrong. The price has gone up to $4. Still a pretty good deal. I'm not complaining. And there's my ticket. I got to go hand over here at the kiosk. It is one of the lower tubs. This one's rather cool, actually, or it has been in the past. And there's a plunge pool. It's anything but cool. It is quite cold. And there's lots of changing rooms down here and even more upstairs, which is where I'm headed. But this stairwell that leads to the top. I like the hot tub. This is just by the base of the waterfall. So the hottest tub is furthest away in this video. So, so now I'm gonna take the plunge. Oh yeah, that's really good. And you can hear, possibly see the waterfall in the back. So here's the panoramic view. Apparently new for 2023. There's now always been a funny tiny Spanish you can see in the new one. Now there's a new one for you gringos that can't read Spanish. To let you know the do's and don'ts for your own good and the pleasure of others. In the background, you really can see the waterfall coming into the early light at sunrise. It probably will stay shady here until at least uh, 10 or 11 o'clock because the sun's coming up from behind that mountain. I'm going to get some really cold water plunge real quick. This water's coming off the waterfall that I just showed you, and it is really cold. Yeah, I know I'm on the uh, equator, but hey, it's still really cold. Elevation's quite high, especially where that water comes from. Just in the shadow of this massive, rather modern resort, there's a wonderful and massive public works a large wonderful wash machine for all the community this was built in the 1940s i believe in 1943 to be exact and some people still use it right here at the grotto where the virgin mary appeared and performed miracles hence this town was catenized by the pope and here's the wonderful waterfall with quite chilly water that in turn goes through some hoses into that uh, reservoir up there and then you can see the stairs maybe if you look carefully and that lit overhang like porch like structure is where the cold showers are available so you can really cool off in between your hot dips that first pool is very hot the second pool that's much larger like swimming pool is quite tempted it's kind of warm and then further over to the far side there's clear water in a regular swimming pool and it's almost cold in my opinion downstairs there's another warm pool and a very cold plunge pool and as i pit further you can see some more, more modern uh spas and pools but i don't believe they're open just yet this morning and i'm not sure the schedule of days so this is 
Banos de Agua Santa, Ecuador. And up above the city, to the left where I'm looking now, is another hot spring. And it has even hotter water and a lot fewer people visit it. It is a bit of a walk uphill from town. If I'm not mistaken, there are five different hot springs here. And some of these resort hotels have their own hot springs or hot spas and hot baths. So if you're wondering why I prefer this more Spartan hot spring over the others, this wonderful view might explain the reason. And in a couple short few hours, there'll be a sunrise along that ridge just overhead. So this adventure to the hot springs, the baths, the thermals, was only $4 total cost of this whole adventure. So now I'm gonna walk on back to my apartment and get a little money and then go out and get something to eat. I need to eat like two solid meals before I go shopping or I may spend too much money at the grocery store and the Marketo. Although compared to how much money I'm gonna spend in the United States, well, even if I overspend it wouldn't be bad, but I, don't, I do not wish to waste food. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned this evening, which is, oh yeah, January 20, 5th or 26th oh god i don't even know what day it is i guess that's a good thing but anyways wednesday i do plan to do the 7 p.m eastern time live stream this evening and i'm going to try to keep doing it i may try to do this one at a remote location with my phone we'll see how that goes if i have some technical difficulties please forgive me anyway I'm here in Ecuador, why aren't you? It doesn't cost that much, and it's really a lot safer than you think. Peace out, till next time.